What did you think the first time you met your sister? I thought she was really cute. I wanted to experience a life with her. <laughs> what do you imagine that life will be like? Good. I just know it's going to be pretty good. Ah, uh, you trying? Where are you going, Emmy? Boop. Welcome to SBSK. Join me as I travel around the world and interview individuals living with a condition to prove no matter how you communicate or what obstacles you face, you're always deserving of love and acceptance. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. He just likes me being around. Here you go. How do you feel when you kiss your sister? Uh, it makes me feel good. Same thing about like what what it's like holding her, you know. Do you know she smiles every time you kiss her? Yeah. You got your smiles. The first thing I tell people when they ask about her, her uh, medical condition is that she is a unicorn. We call her that because uh, she just has a very rare genetic mutation. When you look at your sister, what do you say? Well, I just say that yeah, she's really cute. I always I like to tickle her. Mom, mom, mom. I am not your mom, Emmy. <laughs> He's calling me your mom. Yeah, I just like, it just makes me feel really good. Like, makes me feel happy. It makes me, and then I think she's really cute. Even though she's different. Baron, uh, her older brother, who just turned seven, uh, is one of the most helpful children I've ever met. He was actually in the, in the NICU right after she was born. He, uh, held the little syringe that fed her her first milk. If you could give your sister anything in the world, what would you give her? A great life. And for everybody to think she's just unique. That's what I would want for her. So no one thinks she's like weird or anything like that. They might, they should think she's like a cute little girl that's kicking her feet and making noises. Emmy constantly wants to grab his face. He's a very funny kid, um, and just something about him just makes her laugh and makes her reach. Clap, 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 for the Emmy. Clap, 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 for the Emmy. She is cute, and she's the star of the show. Clap, 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 clap for the Emmy. I'm sorry, I had to do that. He'll ask if Emmy needs anything, and he is uh, Emmy's cheerleader if if he senses that we're getting frustrated, uh, he's from time to time looked at a very experienced doctor and told that doctor that he better do a great job on Emmy's surgery. Are you proud of her? Yeah. For what? So since she's had 12 surgeries and she's still okay, that may, that's one of the things I'm really proud of her. But I think I found like my one of my favorite memories of her. I was the fir first one to feed her. I helped feed her, so that was a really good memory. And so they really bonded from the first day of uh, her life, and even before that, uh, when we learned that Emmy was going to be different when she was in utero, uh, we sort of sat him down and talked about Pfeiffer syndrome, because we got an in utero diagnosis, which is very rare for Pfeiffer syndrome, and showed him some pictures of different kids with Pfeiffer syndrome, and we even got to meet some families with uh, Pfeiffer kiddos, and he would wander around telling everybody that his sister had Viper syndrome, and she was going to look different, but that's okay. How do you feel as you hold your sister? Well, it makes, it just makes me feel good, because who gets to hold a baby with Pfeiffer syndrome that much? Is the thing. Right? Like... Um, there's not many uh, babies that have Pfeiffer syndrome. One out of like more than a thousand. What do you want other people to see in Emmy? Oh gosh. 
just the absolute joy that she is. She's fun. She's a lot of fun. She brings smiles to our faces every day. All the time. That's that's it. Like she's such a joy to be around. Um, we've had some people say some terribly mean things about Emmy just because of the way she looks. And I always feel bad for those people because they have no idea what they're missing out on. How do you play with your sister when no one else is around? I really just give her toys and then kiss her, tickle her. Yeah. And, but it's also pretty challenging because she might need suction. I don't know how to do that. Would you like me to turn off the camera or can I ask you questions about what that is? No, go right ahead. What is that? So that's, uh, that's a suction catheter. So because Emmy's skull is uh, formed differently, she doesn't have enough uh, room to breathe comfortably through there. And uh, when she was born, she actually for a couple of months was able to breathe without it, which was just miraculous. Uh, we never thought she'd be able to uh, breathe off a ventilator um, until she got a, a tracheostomy. Um, but yeah, this is so. This right here is her tracheostomy, where they put a, a hole in her uh, in her trachea uh, to bypass where everything's squished upstairs, where her skull is, so that she can breathe uh, nice and easily without any obstruction. Do you ever worry about your sister? Yeah, like in surgeries, I get pretty worried because she. Like this, and a squiggly and line on her head. She's had a surgery there twice, and a third, and a surgery in her brain for a brain thing that wasn't uh, something bad in her brain, and then surgeries for a skull, like three of them, and then a trach one, and then a G tube one. So sometimes I worry about her because it's like she. It's pretty painful having like 12 surgeries. She has a very severe form of Pfeiffer syndrome and she has um, a lot of challenges and it's... <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I was very tentative for a long time about getting attached to my daughter, which was difficult to kind of except just because we didn't know what life was going to be like and now i i can't imagine life without her <laughs> she's also taught me that uh even when times are at their darkest you can still have a laugh and have some fun <laughs> yeah isn't that right baby oh i know your ears are coming off let's get those <laughs> what is that uh so that this is her baja it's her hearing device so, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I caught your hair there. Oh, grumbles, I'm so sorry, let me fix that. Uh, it's her hearing device. Um, it vibrates the uh, bone of her skull there so that she can hear. Oh, it's okay, baby. Yeah, one of the side effects of her uh, genetic mutation is that she doesn't have ear canals. So, uh, what she hears without that is what you would hear if you just plugged your ears really tight with your fingers. Uh, and this vibrates uh, as it hears sound around there, and she can hear it. Yeah, and it's helping you learn how to talk too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you see your sister as beautiful? Yes. What does it mean to be beautiful? Look good, and why I think it is, because she's she has a really good personality. <laughs> see? To me, it's like she has a really good personality. Hi, baby. Does she always smile when you kiss her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she always has always loved kisses and, and affection. She's a very affectionate kiddo. And, but now it's just her favorite thing in the world is getting a kiss, isn't it? Especially the louder the better. How often do you kiss your sister? Mm, a lot. Cause she's so cute, and it makes her smile. Haha, <laughs> she's smiling right there. We've been learning to blow kisses, and, Mwah. and then she'll let me do it for her. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, your mommy blow kisses. Mwah. 
So even just the sound of a kiss makes her very, very happy. <laughs> What's the most important thing you hope to teach Emmy? I hope to teach her that everybody is important, regardless of what they have or what they can do for you. Everybody's important because they, they are who they are. Just like I think she's super important. And I think she has a lot to teach the world about being kind and being tough too. What is the biggest stigma someone like Emmy faces in today's world? I think for her, it's going to be, I think people look at Emmy and they see her facial differences and they think that she's going to be different mentally as well. Um, right now, Emmy's pretty developmentally delayed. I mean, she grew up the first four months in the hospital and she's had some issues with the skull and space and for her brain to grow, but now she's actually developing really well and very quickly. Um, she's not caught up yet. I would say she's probably somewhere six to eight months old in, in mental development right now. But her doctors and her therapists and everybody, there's nobody, nobody seems to believe there's any reason she shouldn't catch up entirely. I thought almost anything could make her smile, brothers around. Even just looking at her or she, she grabbing me makes, a smi makes this baby smile. When I'm around, she's pretty happy. Thanks for watching SBSK. We believe the world is a better place when everyone takes the time to understand one another. If you want to be part of the community of people who believe that, click the big yellow SBSK button to subscribe. Thank you, and see you next time.